I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And this lesson is going to be entitled The Leadership. Okay, and, um, you know, first and foremost, I just want to thank you, Howard Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, publicly for, um, you know, setting up order, you know, setting up and establishing order because that's how everything is supposed to function. You know, with, with everything you do, you have to have order. All right. There's order on the left hand side and there's order on the right hand side. There's also order. You know, in, in everything we do in our daily lives, rather you at your job, you know, rather you, uh, um, you know, um, with your family, you know, there's an order, man. So and most importantly, in, in this thing of ours, as Elder Apostle Gabar likes to say, you know, there's order in this truth, man. You know, we know right now we have our spiritual fathers. OK, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who are. Um. The true leaders of Israel, you know, and then underneath them, you have elders. OK, and they're basically known as, um, you know, the elders um, out of Connecticut. You know, they have elders under them, you know, and then you have, um, you know, camp leaders around the world. OK, that that have the title of uh, elder, you know, and what I would say is the, the, the elders that's up under the apostles, you know, those, those are beautiful men as well. All right. And then you have men underneath them, which would be the elders from, you know, um, the different states and, and, and around and around the country. OK. And then you have your camp leaders and, and, and so forth. OK. And uh, pretty much, like I said, man, everything has an order to it and you need the leadership for the body to function the correct way. OK. I'll say that again. You need the leadership for the body to. So the body can function in the right way. Okay, even in the heavens, there's a leadership, man. There's Yahweh. Okay, there's Yahweh Shai. And then there's King David. All right. There's the 12. Okay. And then you have the elect, the governing body. All right. So there, there's even a leadership in the heavens. So this is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 40. It says, let all things be done, all right, decently and in order. Let all things be done decently and in order. So there's order amongst everything we do, like I said. Okay, if you have um, an issue, okay, you can go to the leadership. Okay, or if your camp has an issue, and you're and you're a camp leader. They're supposed to come to you because you're the leader. All right. And if, if, if it's a matter that you want to um, discuss to, um, you know, a regional camp head or somebody that's higher than you, you can go up the ladder as well. OK, so it's important that we establish order in this truth. All right. And that's another reason why <laughs> you see these little badass kids running around the Internet wanting to have their own thing. OK, and then they get their own thing and they don't know how to be leaders. Shit falls apart. They out here looking tacky, sloppy, you know, spewing out madness <laughs> because ultimately they're not meant to be leaders, man. OK. And believe it or not, a lot of people that that, um, you know, they want to branch off and do their own thing most of the time. And that shit fails, man. OK. Because they're really not ready or fit to lead men. See, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has to be supping with you in order for you to lead men. And a lot of you guys have that nigga spirit, man. You're not fit to be leaders. Okay, here it is. You'll learn from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Okay? You'll you, you know, you used to be on tape, double honors, this and that. And now here it is, you you, you know, you could you you cursing them out, thinking that you're the guy. But meanwhile, you out here looking crazy, man. And that's ulti ultimately is because you went against the leadership that Yahweh Shemiah Shai set up, man. All right. So 
The Most High is, is 100% dealing with order, man. This is Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. Obey them that have the rule over you. Okay? Obey them that have the rule over you. Now, does that mean... Because a lot of guys will say, well, I ain't kissing no ass, man. I ain't kissing ass. I don't want to be up under him. Well, if that's the if that's the leadership that Yahweh by Shimei Shai set up, you're supposed to be obedient to that, man. Okay? This is like a championship team, man. You have to play your role. Everybody can't be the star player. You got to have role players. You got to have bench players. And guess what? They all contribute to the team's success. If your job is to hold the sign, then hold the sign. If your job is to uh, 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 um, um, read, then read. If your job is to speak, to sp is to speak. If your job is to make sure brothers get a ride to camp, and then when you get to camp, you got to hold the sign. Well, to people in the world, that would be like, oh, well, you, you know, you know, you, you, you low level. But nah, man, you're contributing to the body. If your camp leader tells you to do something according to the spirit, then do it. If the apostles and elders tell you to do something according to the spirit, then do it. You know? You can't have that attitude of where's that in the law? We ain't supposed to do a, a, a videos every day. Where's that in the law? You got niggas with that spirit, man. You know? Oh, uh, Hebrews 13 and 17. Obey them that have the rule over you. And submit yourselves For they watch for your souls Okay You have men that The apostles and elders man believe it or not we, When we first came into this thing I remember, I remember When I first came into the truth And you used to have to wait for the parts to be uploaded You know you might be waiting Three days <laughs> two or three days For a part to be uploaded man Part 2, part 3, part 4, all the way up to like part 18 or 19. And we used to wait for them parts to be uploaded because we were waiting to be fed, man. And through the spirit, you know, when I look back on it, they were they were always watching for our souls, man. Feeding us, feeding us that righteous, that righteous food that we needed to be fed. Okay? Cuz I came in around 09, man. That's that's when you still had to wait for those parts to be uploaded. They didn't just upload a two, you know, two, three hour video. So they were watching for our soul, Salakia. Had to take a drink. It says, as, the, as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy, man. And not with grief, for that is unprofitable to you. So you have to do this thing with joy. And you have to understand that Yahweh Bashim Shai set up order so this can be done beautifully. Okay, the Lord didn't set up order for it to be confusion and strife. He set up order so the, the, the body can function the correct way. All right? So obey them to have to rule over you, man. It's not hard, man. All right? But, but, but niggas make it hard, man. Okay? If you're a nigga, you're going to make things hard. Make sure I got the right precept. Con, 1 Corinthians 4 and 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the unbelievers. Okay? So you have to be an example. And, and are, are you being an example to... Are you being an example... Oh, so like, yeah, I said believers. Let me read that again. Let no man despise thy youth, be thou an example of the believers. Okay? In word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. All right? Now, are you being an example... If you're bucking up against the order, if you're bucking up against the leadership, no, you're not being an example, man. You're being an example of how to be a nigga, okay? But you're not being, you're not um, giving an example of being diligent to the body and doing what you're supposed to do. You know? And that's also why Yahweh Bashim Shai set up the leadership because if you, if you ain't trying to follow the order, you can just get the boot. You know, you can just get the boot, man. And that happens to a lot of guys. It says, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. And what's one of the things that's a part of the doctrine? Having order. Okay, the scriptures tell us that the Lord is not the author of confusion. All right. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, 
which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on the hands of the uh, presbytery. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly unto them that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and, and them that hear thee. So take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Okay, we have to examine ourselves. We have to make sure we're following order. Okay? And that, you know, that's, that's just a big part of the truth for me, man. Because, you know, I believe that, uh, you know, leadership is important. You know? And even and you don't have to be an, an apostle or an elder or a camp leader to have to show traits of being um, a true leader or to have leadership, man. You could just be a regular brother in the camp. And show those attributes and those traits. Remember, we're all striving to be like Yahweh Shai. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do, man. All right? In righteousness. 1 Timothy 3 and 1. This is a true saying. If a man desire the work of a bishop, he desire for good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, Apt to teach and this is you know we're supposed to be on that level man especially us brothers that came in around that 2007 2008 2009 wave we're supposed to be the example to these new brothers coming in man because the apostles and elders you know the apostles and the elders up under them they were the examples to us so now we have to be that example to the new brothers coming in man you know we have to be apt to teach it says, not given to wine, no striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. One that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man, this is the key point, this is the point I wanted to get. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of Yahweh? All right. So, hey, man, you, if you can't take care of your own house. You, you really can't be in a leadership position as far as brotherhood goes. Because you can't take care of your own household. Not a novice being lifted up with pride. He fall into condemnation of the devil. And we've been seeing that lately with these little, I'll say it again, badass kids running around the Internet, man. A bunch of novices being filled with pride, man. And what, what, is, what are they doing? They fall into the condemnation of the devil, man. You know, their conscience is seared with a hot iron. They're being, uh, 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 um, they're giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. I mean, man, y'all looking bad out here, man. But that's ultimately because you're not following the order. You're not following the order set up by Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. This is Acts chapter 28 and verse 20. It says, For this cause, therefore, for this cause, therefore, have I called you. Is this the right scripture? Oh, uh, let's see. I don't believe this is the right scripture. So lucky your brothers. But um, I'll just leave it there, you know. You know, Lord willing, this is edifying, man. But um, yeah, brothers, you know, that leadership role is important, man. And starting with our apostles and elders, we thank you. How about Shmuel Shai? For, for setting up this body, man, so it could function the correct way. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. Lord willing, this is edifying. It's the brother Zion signing off. Shalom.